Assigning feature line elevations. In this exercise, you'll assign elevations to feature lines you created from AutoCAD lines in the previous exercise. We're going to be editing feature line elevations. We're going to be going to the Modify tab. Modify, right up here. Then we have the Edit Elevations panel. It stretches all the way out to about right here. We've got all kinds of different options here. We're going to select the Elevation Editor, like what we were in previously. And we're going to go to C, D, E, and F. We'll select this. We're going to close this down a little bit just so we can see what we're doing here. Come on. There it is. So now, see how we have all these triangles that are showing up on our feature line? You can see all these are, are showing up right here. So at least you know where you're at. If you zoom out, you can still see those triangles. See that? If you zoom in, they shrink. So that's kind of nice. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to zoom out and while we're in this elevation editor we're going to select a different feature line with this button select feature line parcel line or survey figure select this then we'll select the line between a and b see that we're going to double click the elevation at station zero which is at a and we're going to type in an elevation of 630 press enter it's going to put this feature line a few feet below the grade surface it's a few feet below the existing surface. We're going to change the endpoint, which is over here at B. We're going to change this to 690. Press Enter. Fairly decent uh, grade transition here. Let's see how this looks. I can't really see the uh, feature line here. Let me something like that. Where's my feature line for MB? There it is. See where it is roughly. If I select this. Can I change some of this stuff? No, I don't want to do that. Let's go back to the top. We're going to change this back to that, something like that. See how I did that with uh, the surface style? If you don't know this already, you can change the surface style up here within the properties under style. There's all these different styles that we've got going on here. All these different looks that you can change if you would like. I'm going to leave this on border contours 5 and 10. There we go. Next. I'm going to click this checkbox. I'm back into my grading elevations editor. Now what we're going to do is we're going to insert an elevation point on a feature line. In the, in the grading elevation editor, we're going to click this to insert an elevation point. Now you see how I have a little green circle that shows up in, on the line in between A and B. It's a little tool tip that shows the station value and elevation of the point. Can you see that? Yeah, it shows the station elevation at that point. Like roughly right about there. That nice little tool tip. We're going to move it to about the middle of the feature line, roughly about right here. And then we get the insert PVI dialog box. We can move the elevation point to a specific station if need be. What if we wanted it at, I don't know, 250? And the elevation, what would the elevation be? Uh, we can assign an elevation if we wanted to, but that's what it is currently. Well, if I shift the, ele the station, then the elevation might change, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to click whatever. Then when we click on feature line AB, you can see point shows up. And if we wanted to, we can zoom in roughly to that existing grade. 670.54.7. What is this at? Oh, it's a lot lower. What if we made this 674.57 or 670.5? about over here. Existing grade is at 670.5. So, yep. The reason why, uh, the thing of it is, this feature line doesn't affect the existing grade surface because it's not a break line. You need to add the feature line as a break line in order to make some changes to the existing grade surface. In fact, we can do that right now if we want. We can go into surfaces, existing grade. This might even be in the, uh, the notes here. But, if I wanted to, I can add a break line. Click, and you can see how the existing grade surface just changed just slightly. That's because it's a break line. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this. I'm going to delete it. Don't want this no more. And then I'm going to right click, then rebuild. And it goes back to the way it was. So that's what you have to do with a feature line. If you want to add it to a surface, you need to add it as a break line.